Good evening, everyone. How are you? Only Ricardo is present. How are you yes, doing? Yes, teacher. Yes. Ready for action? Yes, sir. Excellent. That's good. Ready. Yes, you are ready, my friend. Okay, let's begin. <clears throat> good evening. Today is uh, October the 27th. This is class 18, and we're going to be working on how to use perfect models. You say, teacher, what's a perfect model? No, it doesn't mean that it does, the model doesn't have mistakes. It means that it is combined with the present perfect. Okay, so, but don't worry. We're going to see in a moment, I'm going to explain how it works. Hey, Don Ignacio is here already. Pedrina, Danis, good evening. Okay, excellent. Hi, good evening. Hello, my friend. Hey. You're ready. Yeah. Okay. Go to sleep right now. <laughs> not, not ready to sleep right now. Okay, very good. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Welcome to your English class. Let's begin. This is the general objective. Then these are the specific objectives. And finally, uh, this is the objective for tonight's class, to provide effective strategies to avoid uh, overstaffing and understaffing. Means to have too much personnel or too many people in, uh, in the staff or too, or too few. Okay. Maybe you remember these questions, okay? From here, we're going to select a couple of these questions to discuss them. <clears throat> okay, we're not going to go into the groups with this one, just here. Uh, Danis, what's the most beautiful place that you've ever seen, that you've ever visited? Um, national or the most beautiful <laughs> can ah, be national, the, can be international. Uh -huh. the, the hard rock, Guatemala. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, excellent. How about you, Ricardo? What's the most beautiful place you've ever visited? Okay. How and you, Karina? What's the most beautiful place that you've ever visited? Okay. <laughs> Good evening. Good evening. Uh, I have been in Antigua, Guatemala. And okay. All... In Antigua, yes. Panajachel and all those beautiful places. Excellent. Teacher. Yes, Ricardo. Number, number uh, question. Uh, number, number two, sorry. Uh, uh, what day most romantic places in San Salvador? Uh -huh. uh, visit, uh, uh, remember uh, Planet de Rendero, uh, Sacudero. Really? <laughs> <laughs> El Sacudero. In, um... Yes. Parque, uh, es el romántico. Parque de la familia. Uh -huh. Ajá, ok. Yes. yes. Ya no, ya, uh, no, no, eh, no existe. No, eh. The place is appeared. Yes. Oh, and now what's the most romantic place? 
play. De, de Lookout. El Miradero, de Day Call. Yes. Maybe, right? Because El Baúl disappeared too. Yes. El Baúl disappeared. Uh -huh. Yes. Edrina, what's the most romantic place in San Salvador? Bar medieval. ¿Qué ha pasado? El que estaba sentado en el trono dijo, he aquí, yo hago nuevas todas las cosas. Yo soy el alfa y la omega, el principio y el fin. Oh, Al que right, yeah. nacer, yo le daré <ríe> Entraste, mi zapato. de la fuente de agua. Si de si están relajadas. Ay, no me digan. Ok. Ay, no That's nice. Yeah. I don't make the nice tiny. Okay. That's a rose. The place in San Salvador was 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 the most difficult le, le, uh, language to learn in, in the world. Uh, is Russia, uh, Italian, Russian, English. You think that Russian is Russian? Difficult? Yes, yes, okay. You said the Italian, the, 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 the Nahuatl. <laughs> uh, Nahuatl. Okay. pronunciation air, 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 Rus. Oh, yes, of course, could be different yes, also. Okay. Yes. yes. From geography, what's the largest city in El Salvador? Talking about population, what's the largest city in El Salvador? Large. Mm -hmm. The Union? San Salvador, right? Ah. El City. Okay. Largest. Uh, okay. Laser, uh, ah, largest. 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 Uh, largest. Le What's the tallest volcano? What's the tallest volcano? Ah, volcano. Eh, eh, yes. Uh, there is one that is taller. There, there are two that are taller. Chaparrique is four, number four, I think. Ah, four. I think it's number four, Chaparrastique. The first one is the one in Santa Ana. It's the tallest. Oh. And the one in, in San Salvador is the second. The one in San Vicente, the Chichontepec, is three. And Chaparrastique, I guess, is number four. Okay. Yeah. Big uh, volcano, volcano big uh, uh, is uh, San Salvador. No. Santa Ana, the one in Santa Ana is taller. Well, at least that's what the records say. <laughs> okay. It's the hottest sounds like a hottest, but no. What's the hottest city in our country? What is? What's the hottest city in our country? San Miguel. San Miguel. La Unión. Okay. Oh, La Unión is super hot, but I think yes. San Miguel. A very pop, hot. A pop. Yes. A it's very hot. So, so a pango es caliente. Sal, sí. so pango too, right? <laughs> <laughs> Depending. A popa también. A popa also. Yeah, Popa is super hot. Okay, yeah. the best, the best restaurant that you know. Uh, is the best restaurant. 
the restaurant is a beach eh, a tomar. A tomar. Yes. Oh, teacher. Good. Teacher. Tell me. Good evening. Good evening, Don Ignacio. Okay, the best restaurant for me is the Chepe Aleta. Oh, Chepe. Yeah, near, 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 to, near to Taquillo, you know. Chepe. Hermosito. In what language? <laughs> <laughs> near you, you know, taqui, Taquillo, near, near to... No. It's, a, it's the... It's the Next the La Libertad Port. Oh, okay. Permacito. Restaurant, oh, restaurant uh, Park San Jose. Okay. Yeah, in San Salvador. Como pronto, dice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, yes. What about the nicest person that you know? Who is the nicest person that you know? Me. <laughs> Me. Uh, another yes. another person <laughs> that he's the nicest person that he knows okay my, my daughter or my mother your daughter or your mother okay yeah. English. <laughs> of course yeah <laughs> if, if someone asks you who is the most beautiful woman in the world of course you say my mother yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay. My mother, perfect. Yes, your mother, my mother, our yes. mothers are perfect. In my case, my mother was, she is already dead. My mom was perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. What's the most difficult school, school subject for you? The most difficult? Solid. English. English. <laughs> Solid. English. Yeah. Don, Don Ignacio, for you? For me, it's uh, chemical. Uh, chemical. My chemical Roman. No, no the, the most difficult at the school for me is was uh, the chemical material, you, you know. Chemistry. <clears throat> Chemistry. Chemistry, yeah. Chemistry. Mm -hmm. Chemistry is the most difficult for me. Okay. Well, yes. when oh. you have to, particularly when you have to talk about um, the rings, the, the properties of the, the properties of the atoms, and you have to measure the, the isotopes and things like that. Yeah, and they were kind, yeah. of, kind of difficult. Okay. How about you, Karina? For you, what's the most difficult school subject? Mm, phys physica? Physics. Okay. Physics. Physics. Okay. Yes. Of course. Uh, for, we cannot say that for Rudy. Rudy is very smart. He's a teacher too, so I imagine that. Rudy, Rudy is not here. Rudy is not here yet, right? Not here. Uh -huh. Okay. Let's see, now I'm going to call roll. Okay. So, okay. Let's see. I'm going to call roll and see. Who is here and who isn't here yet? Okay. Anadelmi Carranza de Guzman. No, not here yet. Brian Odir Perez Araujo. No Brian today? Okay. Carlos Alberto Bautista. Carlitos Bautista? Not yet. Good evening, teacher. Sorry. Eh, who no, is... no sé si me había mencionado, Anabel. Oh, yes, I mentioned. Oh, oh, my sorry. Bien. 
<laughs> okay. Present teacher. Yes. Okay. Nice. Welcome on board. Thank you. Danny Anthony? No. Danis Adalberto Fuentes. Present. Okay, excellent. Yeah. Your brother is here, right? Ricardo Alexis Fuentes. Excellent. Duri. Your brother too. Okay, so. Yeah. yeah. No, está? <laughs> no, he isn't here right now. Dolores Saraí Molina. Present teacher. Excellent. Welcome on board. Thank you, teacher. Yes, Eduardo Ernesto Hernández Molina. Present. Okay, nice, Don Eduardo. Welcome on board. And then, of course, this lady, Eunice Abigail Chavez, doesn't attend anymore. Guadalupe del Carmen López. Present, teacher. Eh, okay. Lupe is with us. Nice. Okay, Jacqueline Melissa Delgadillo. Present teacher. Nice. Welcome on board. Jose Ignacio Franco. Present teacher, I'm here. Nice, Don Ignacio. Jose Norberto Velasquez. Present teacher. Nice, Norbert. Okay. Karina Elizabeth Villeda. Present teacher. Yes, Cari is with us. Okay, very good. Um, Marvin Alexander Bonilla. Present teacher, I'm here. Excellent, Marvin. Okay, nice. Miriam Claribel Jacobo. Okay, Moises Eduardo Rivas. Don Moy is not here. Okay. Nelson Ivan Hernandez. Present teacher. Excellent. Nice. Okay. Edrina Ileana Gomez. Present teacher. Okay. Wonderful. Nice. Okay. Rene Osvaldo Bonilla. I am here. Okay. Nice. Present. And yesterday you couldn't be in class. Yes, for for a moment. Oh, okay. Uh huh. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes. Present, present. Okay, nice. Claudia Lorena Enriquez, Marvin Alexander Lopez, and Victor Hugo Quintanilla. These people are not here anymore. In Rudy, Rudy Josue Flores. Now Rudy is not present today. Okay. Well, my friends, let's continue. Um, I want to tell you that uh, I will be reminding you of the Encuesta de Satisfacción, okay? The Satisfaction Survey. So on the last day, on the last day of the course, we're going to have it. So I will tell you exactly how, okay? When I get the information. The order week is, verdad, teacher? Next week. Next, next, week. next week. Next week. Next week. Next week we have the inquest. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. okay. Excellent. Now we're going to discuss these questions. Okay. How difficult is it to organize staff schedules? How, how difficult is it to organize staff schedules? Opinions? Is it difficult? Is it easy? How difficult is it? Yes, it's difficult. Be uh, able to always have a staff in the company. Mm -hmm. 
what's necessary to organize it? What necess what's necessary to organize the schedule? A calendar. A calendar, okay. Calendar. Excellent, yes, a calendar. And, Here. yes? What uh, for, in, in my case, it is organized, the staff schedule is easy. Uh, but uh, use the calendar on my mail. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. A reservation or the what is the sala? Room. Uh, room. Yeah. Yes. Reservation. The room is. Uh, program. Uh huh. Day and day. If you use a calendar on the on email, okay. No. The the employee list. Yes. Yes, the list of employees is important. Yeah. Yes. List of employees is important because you need to place them in the calendar. Okay. Yeah. Is a principal or optional? Mm. Employees. May ah the principal employees yeah. and the substitutes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Sure. I agree definitely. Yes. Because if some get sick, others may replace them, okay? May substitute for the ones that, that, that get sick, okay? Um, what happens if the company is a big company? If the company is big, what do we do? Uh, teacher, <clears throat> my opinion. Yes, Dominic. The, the difficult into the organized staff uh, schedule in our company and is in specified for me is uh, for example do the pandemic because there are this instruct uh, instruction uh, not to let worker with um, symptoms or covid in in the security personnel don't don't no no permitting don't don't let in don't allow don't allow the oh, people sick people to access uh -huh. to access yes and it for me is a uh, difficult to organize this the schedules you know yeah because you don't know who has the symptoms and who doesn't? Yeah, but the but the the day principal is the Monday. Monday is the principal. The next day is different for me. How is it different? Is it more difficult, easier, or how is it difficult? How is it different? This the Monday is is. Is the different another day because the employees is coming from from the weekend and I don't I don't know we don't know if how are the sick uh huh yeah if it's, they are sick or they are fine yeah I understand yeah mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. It's in our case. Yeah. What do you think happens? What do you think happens in a big corporation? Is it easy to organize? No, it's difficult. Difficult because um, the mods be divided by the department for the company. Mm -hmm. And um, cada, uh, one on leadership. Every department the schedule for department. Every every boss or every head of the department. Every boss of the department create they are create 
for the schedule for your department mm -hmm. or team, for your team. For your team. And the department can also be divided, right? Can be divided in teams too. And the teams have a leader and maybe the leader organizes that his own team and the schedule of his team. But then they have to report to the big boss, right? Okay, yeah, makes sense. It makes sense. Okay, uh, are computers a good tool to create effective schedules for employees? Computers, cell phones, do you know that, do you think that they are tools? Good tools, teacher, what's a tool? Herramienta. 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 Yeah. Do you think that they are good tools to create effective schedules for employees? Yeah. Yes. My, my yes, yes. My computer yes. Is... Especially if they are repeated, right? If yeah. the schedules are it's for me. High club. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for me, is that the the computer is a good, very good uh, tool because um, allowed to use the calendars mm -hmm. at the at the schedule, you know. And the we 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 can the program the different day for in a calendar, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. Por eso es, la, 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 es a good tool, the computer. Yes, you can costume a calendar, for example, on Excel, right? In Excel, you can create a calendar and you can have the different schedules. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, create the, the you know, alarms. Uh, that would be alarms, the alarms. Yes. Yes, in Excel, it's very effective. Okay, excellent. Yes, because I can be sure for WhatsApp group, the share client. You can share them on WhatsApp, yes. Yes, okay, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, Karina, you wanted to tell us something? I think the computers are and uh, tools because uh, you can create in, in Excel uh, and, and organize and then just change or mix the, the schedule. It's a possibility. Okay, of course. Uh -huh. All right, excellent. And now with the power apps, the power apps that uh, Microsoft is giving you, you can create one, something in uh, Excel and uh, people may use the power apps to report if they have any problem. And that one goes to the Excel sheet and you can see in real time, right? In real time, you can see what's going on. And if it's an emergency, you, you have it there in the moment. Yes, computers are a very good tool, definitely. Yes. Okay. We believe that that is efficient. Okay. What other things are useful to, in order to organize a, a staff calendar? We mentioned some tools, but you said, uh, the necessary things, let me see, need to change the color here. You said we need a calendar, right? Yes. A calendar, yes, a calendar is one. The yeah. list of employees. The list of employees. 
What else? The topic? A computer? The computer, the computer. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, what else? What else could be another tool? The teacher. Yes, Don Ignacio. All, all computers need a, a program. Sure. For example, a project. Mm -hmm. it's, yeah. It's not, project is normally we to use the to present a schedule. Exactly. So say a, a program. Okay. Teacher. Yes. Is a very, very important have a vacation calendar, the employer. Uh, do not create a schedule for employer with or who is in vacation. Okay. Is the important I can see one calendar vacation the employer. Okay, a vacation calendar. Yeah, that's also important. Mm -hmm. Okay, what about the communication tools? Cell phone. Uh huh. Cell phone. Yeah. Or WhatsApp group. Yeah, communication tools like what's a WhatsApp group, right? A WhatsApp group? Emails. Echo, of course, emails too. Email, a WhatsApp group. Okay. A telephone number, right? Of course. Because if someone is someone is sick, the person may report and may may call in, and then you see what you can do to replace them. Okay. Okay, excellent, very good. Now let's continue, my dear ones. Let's continue. Take turns practicing the model conversation. Okay, this one, yes. And uh, these questions. Okay. We're going to be discussing them. So you're going to go to the groups for, you're going to go to the groups for page nine, page 10 and page 11, nine, 10 and 11. So <clears throat> uh, first I'm going to model the conversation for you and then you're going to practice it in the group. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedules from their phones. That sounds like the most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. Okay, do you have any questions about any word? Before we go, teacher, keep is como keep, keep is maintain, maintain, mantener, right? Keep, uh -huh. keep, keep up. Yes, keep your stuff organized. Keep something working. Keep something functioning. Keep something. Uh, organize in this case, keep something uh, under control. Mm -hmm. Keep always. Yeah. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, my dear ones. I'm going, then I'm going to send you to the groups. Please remember, work on pages nine, 10, and 11. Nine, 10, and 11. We are only 15 people. So I'm going to create, let's see if how it works, five. Okay. The groups are beginning. The groups are opening. Let's see. Don Carlos Alberto is not present, right? Okay. Let me see. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Norberto is not in the in the group either. Okay. Probably he's not going to connect. Are you going to connect, Norberto? Okay. Hello. You start. Hello, good evening. I am here. <laughs> you, Gilberto. You. Yo, I am. <laughs> <laughs> okay. From Guadalupe, verdad? Yes. Okay. Hey, Guadalupe, how do you keep the schedule? Organize. My staff is always complaining. Norbert, I use um, an online service so that the staff can see their schedule on their phone. That sounds like the most efficient way I beat, I beat up say a lot of time yes it is the best uh, way to keep your staff organized and on time okay very good very good <laughs> okay um, another me you want we switch the, the Gilbert, Gilbert. Uh -huh. okay 
Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedule from their phones. That song, like the most efficient way, I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. Okay. Norma, Next, Guadalupe, Norbert. Okay, uh, I, Gilbert. Norbert, how, I, how, how do you keep the schedule organized? Now is always complaining. <laughs> okay, Guadalupe. Uh, I am use online service to that the staff can see uh, here is is always complaining. always complaining always complaining ah entonces la primera es Laura how do you keep the schedule organized my ah. step is always complaining lo voy a repetir sí. Laura how do you keep the schedule organized organization Organize. My, organize, organize, organize. My state is always complaining. Staff complaining. Com is complaining. Complaining. Teacher. Complaining. Yes. Teacher. Hello. Uh, this, uh, I see. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. My complaining. Staff. Staff. Ah. staff. My staff is always complaining. Yes. My staff always my complaining. Staff. Always com my staff always is always com complaining. Complain. Mm. My staff is always complaining. Uh -huh. yes. my, my staff is always complaining. The next, I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedule from their, their forms. Así sería, dicho. Yes, that's the way. Can you see the second line, teacher, please? For uh, we can listen. Okay, uh, the second line. I use an online service so the staff can see their schedule from their phones. Okay. Uh. I, I use an online service use. so that the staff can see their schedule from the certain platforms. I use an online service that they start so, 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 so that so that they start can see see uh, their schedules their schedules a sketch from her from iPhone, their phone, iPhone. I can travel a link. Three lines. That, that sounds sound like that sounds that sounds that like the most efficient way. That sounds like the most efficient way. That I, sounds like the most efficient way. Uh -huh. I bet it saves a lot of time. I bet it saves a lot of time. Mm -hmm. I bet it saves a lot of time. a lot of time. 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 That sounds like the most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. Uh -huh. Only pronounce the S. That sounds sound like the most efficient way. That sounds like the most efficient way. Sound like the most efficient way. Uh -huh. it, it saves a lot of time. 
that some life takes most interesting way I bet it some a lot of time. Save. Says Save. a lot of time. A lot of time. 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 A lot of time. Uh -huh. the finally, yes, it is the best way to keep your stuff organized and on time. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Otra vez, este, lo hacemos, Pedrina. Va, okay. ok. Voy a ser Gilbert, yo. Laura. Ok. Va. How do you keep the schedule organized? My step is always complaining. Schedule, I... schedule and staff. Ah. Schedule, staff. Ajá, uh -huh. staff. Staff. Uh, I use... Hi, hey, teacher. Hello, hello, Dennis. Hi. You're working on this on page 10. Yes. Um, in the moment, number two, in your opinion, what is the most efficient way to avoid? What's the most efficient way? Efficient way to avoid? Efficient way. Overstay okay. understand. Efficient. Uh -huh. Overstay in... Overstaffing. A... And understaffing. Over uh, understaffing and understaffing. Staffing. Okay. Is como mucho personal o falta de personal? Ah, okay. Entonces, entonces es falta o mucho. Para evitar, para evitar mucho o que falten. Exactly. To avoid. Ok. Eh, what do you do to avoid? That would be avoid es evitar, right? To avoid. Yeah. Avoid. Ah, okay. It's muchos. Too many people. Ok. Understaffing. Very few people. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is that your the employees ideal? Give this. Give the the employees an ideal schedule. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's a very good idea. In my case, uh, organize organize group. Uh, employees uh, everything about uh, about it about it. esta 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 palabra no no sé cómo se 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 pronuncia about it which one my friend avoid about, avoid avoid. Avoid. avoid yes yes avoid avoid, avoid. 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 Mm -hmm. ah, okay. Thank you. You're Avoid. Avoid. Mm -hmm. Avoid. 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 Is there, in your opinion, uh, what is the most efficient way to avoid overstaying? Stay fit. Es overstim. Um, understand. Understaffing. Staffing. Understaffing. Staffing. Oh, hello, um, the word is staffing. staff. Staffing. Staff. Uh -huh. Sure. Normally. Uh -huh. Let me see. I was going to write. I was going to write on your, <laughs> on your screen. Okay, so. I was going to write on the screen and I say, uh oh, it doesn't write on your screen. Okay, but don't worry, the pronunciation is with an A. Staff, okay? Staff. In your opinions, what's the most efficient way to avoid overstaffing and understaffing? So that would be the, the idea, okay? Thank you, Nate. Yes, you're welcome, my friend.
Eh, Nelson. Es algo así como cómo como organiza tu empresa las actividades, ¿verdad? Sí. Yes. ¿Cómo organiza la programación de schedule de anual, por ejemplo, anual schedule? Or, or trimestral, you know, schedule. For example, in our company, the human resource, the human resource, the, the, organiz, the organized schedule, the annual, the annual schedule. Annual, annual, so, annual. annual. Annual, because because the for example in the vacation Annual. the calendar vacation is the holy holy week, no Semana Santa. The first vacation is the the holy week. Easter week, Easter week. Then you can say holy week, Easter week. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in the second um, August. In the August, yeah. August vacation. Five, five, six, seven in San Salvador, the principal. In the last, in the last vacation is in the New Year, or sorry, in the Nativity, I know. End of the year, uh -huh. the end of the year. The, the end, end of the, of the year. year. Mm -hmm. the Christmas. Christmas. Christmas and, and then the end of the year. Is it the is for example in our company? What is your situation in Nelson in, in your company? Okay, in my company, for example, and um, talk about vacation. In my case, my vacation is uh, 15 days on the month. Your, your begin work. Yeah, For I understand. In my case, I understand. In my case, my vacation is an annual vacation only. Annual vacation. Mm. No, no, is vacation is in August collective. No, uh, no, it's collective vacation. As in, I, 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 individual. It's individual. It's for mom um, in the month when you entry work. Mm -hmm. For example, in my case, my vacation um was in September in September. Mm -hmm. Is uh, I understand is uh, according to the date of admission in our company, maybe. La fecha que llegas de ingreso. Yes. Mm -hmm. Normally. The work, the, the work, the, the, how many work has, uh, for the, for the personal. Okay. Yeah, I, 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 I agree with that because <laughs> in my, in my company, when it's necessary, they have uh, bring help with other people. Mm -hmm. And the most common is the three months, the three months, last, I'm sorry, the last month of the year. Yes, in my work is depend the season. 
uh, we work the, the two seasons and we in in, in spring, spring summer we need more personal in the fall winter we need uh, less personal less personal mm -hmm. okay okay next next <laughs> <laughs> Conversation and answer the questions. Mm. Okay, okay. Answer the question. That sounds like the most efficient, right? Sorry? Is, is the most efficient. Oh. The answer uh, had in the, in the, in the manual. Also, the most. Sorry, I don't know. Okay. The most efficient. Is right or with double the F? Is WF. WF. It doesn't like the most efficient way. Mm -hmm. Yes. And in the next is uh, the best way. The best. Oh. Mm. Only the best. Just the best. Yeah. Okay, very good. I didn't know. Oh, everybody's back. Okay, let's continue. I'm going to call roll. But first, I'm going to start sharing.
Okay. Let's see. Anadelmi Carranza de Guzmán. Present teacher. Excellent. Brian Odirpe Saraujo. Present, present. Excellent. Carlos Alberto Bautista Bonilla. Present teacher. Excellent. Dani Anthony Sigüenza. Not today. Okay. Dani Alberto Fuentes. Present. Excellent. Yeah. Dolores Molina. Eduardo Ernesto Hernández. Okay. Guadalupe del Carmen López. Present teacher. Excelente. Jacqueline Delgadillo. Present teacher. Excelente. E Ignacio Franco Medina. José Norberto Velázquez. I am here, teacher, present. Excellent. Marvin Alexander Boni. I'm here, teacher, present. Excellent. Karina Ville Elizabeth Villeda. Present, teacher. Miriam Claribel Jacobo. Okay. Moises Eduardo Rivas. Okay. Ah, says he's here. Okay. Right. Very good. Nelson Ivan Hernandez. Okay. Present teacher. Pedrina Ileana Gomez. Present teacher. Osvaldo Bonilla. Present, present. Excellent. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes. Present, dice present. Ok. Claudia Lorena Enríquez, Marvin Alexander López, Víctor Hugo Quintanilla. Ok. And Rudy Josué Flores. No Rudy today, right? So, didn't come. Ok. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Let's continue, my friends. Okay, you practice the conversations and you answer these questions. Okay. How did you answer this question? Look at the conversation and answer the questions. How did you complete it? That sounds like The most efficient. Uh -huh. Okay, very good. Uh -huh. The most efficient. efficient. Most efficient. That sounds like the most efficient way. Uh, number two, how did you complete it? The best. The best, the best way. It is best way, way to keep your staff. Excellent. The best way to keep your staff organized and on time. Okay, excellent. Now let's continue. Use superlative forms. Okay. Uh, Let's, before the examples, it says, use the superlative form of adjectives to compare more than two persons or things in a group, okay? We say three, four, five, etc. The superlative form for one syllable, adjectives is made with the, the adjective, and ESP. 
And then for the other one, for the long adjectives, the most, right? And for the others are irregular. Adjectives like good and bad are called irregular adjectives because their superlative forms do not follow the EST rule. Okay, let's see in the, in the rule. Let's see. For you, to, for you to do this, we have, okay. The fat in cheap, nice, easy, sorry, easy, fast, line. Slow, okay, tall, short, cold, warm, okay. What else? Why fasting, cheap, nice, easy, fast, slow, fa uh, tall, short, cold, hot, Warm. What else? S slow and fast, cheap and easy. Okay, thin, fat, wide, old, uh, young, young and old, and also sorry, new. What other adjectives? Small. Happy. Sad. Mm -hmm. Small, yes. Small and big. Okay. Pretty. Yeah. Long, pretty. long time, no. Pretty, yeah. Long, we already had it. Let's see, we put long. No, didn't put long. Did I put long? No, right. No. No, no long. Okay. Let's put here long. I put tall and short. Okay, long now. Okay. How do we make this? Is, these are one syllable adjectives. One syllable adjectives. So what do we do? The rule of the EST, EST. So what do we say? This already has the widest, but what else do we need? The is obligatory to use the, okay. For fact, What's the, what do we do? Consonant, vowel, consonant. Double, double the, the last letter. Fat. Yes, fattest. The fattest, okay. And what do we say here? W, W, N. N. And ST. The yes. yeah. Okay, what about cheap? Cheapers. Cheapers. WP. WP. The cheapest. Mm -hmm. Only one P. Only one P because we have two vowels. Oh, two uh -huh. EA. So only one P. Okay. If two consonants or two vowels is only one letter. We don't du duplicate it to double. Okay, yeah. the nicest. 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 Okay, for easy. Uh, change, change, why? Okay. Okay. Why? Why for, for I? I, S, T, the easiest. Yeah. Okay, for this one, 
fastest. The fastest. Fast. Sorry. Low. No. One down. The slowest. The slowest. The tallest. Tallest. The shortest. The shortest. Shortest. The shortest, and then. Coldest. The coldest. The coldest. The coldest. The hottest. Hottest. <laughs> Sounds like a hottest, but no, it's not. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. The hottest. Hottest. <laughs> okay. Um, the warmest. The warmest. The warmest. The warmest. The oldest. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to use here since it's there, I'm going to put there <laughs> because it got in the wrong place, but okay. So the oldest and the youngest. The youngest. The youngest. Uh -huh. And so the newest. Right? Can we say happiness? No. Yeah, the happiest. Bye bye. Why then we have EST? Okay. Saddest. The smallest. The smallest. The biggest. This one. Biggest. Double the G and ESD. The, the big hamburger with hamburger. The hamburger, the biggest. Pretty. The biggest. Bye bye. Why ESD? Prettiest. Prettiest. Teacher, I have a question. Tell me, senorita. Why and and the Add the the other uh, consonant when two consonant and vocal. I don't, I don't remember. We add it in the middle. Okay, I'll say like this. We have when <clears throat> we have a, a, a syllable that is only like this: consonant, vowel, consonant, particularly. They say that it's not important the first consonant. This is the way I learned it a thousand years ago. But okay, like this. Okay, first one is a consonant. Second is a vowel. Then the next one is another consonant. Okay, guess what? What do we do? Like Scooby Doo, we double this one. This is double. Okay, the final is double. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then write it. Okay. And then we add. E S D. Okay. 
So here we put consonant. Okay. This is why not? Why not in the new? Oh, okay. Good question. The thing is that we have some consonants like Y, X, and W that are not duplicated. Okay. X and W are duplicated. Now, you might say, teacher, why not L? Mm -hmm. L is double constant. Mm -hmm. So that is a rule. No, if you did, if you have two consonants, you don't double. It. If you have two mm -hmm. vowels, you don't double it. Okay. Okay. The vowels are repeated. Or that you don't double. It. Okay. So oh, this is short. You. You're welcome. Let's see. The longest. Okay. What about with the other ones? We have, yesterday I told you, right? Important, necessary, confusing, interesting, sophisticated, Cosmopolitan, cosmopolitan, uh, diligent, unnecessary, like we were discussing yesterday, relevant, perfect. Okay, disastrous, um, irrelevant, etc. Long adjectives. What do we use? Mr. The most, right? The most. The most important, the most necessary, the most confusing, the most interesting, the most cosmopolitan, the most diligent, etc. All the most. And what happens if, this is to make it short like that, if they are irregular? We have good have far and we have bad, okay? Protagonists, the best. Far, the farthest. We're going to use only the one that is for distance, the farthest. Bad, the worst. The worst. Okay, bad, the worst, far, the farthest, good, the best. These are irregular. Teacher, what is irregular? Common. Regular, regular comes from regulus. That means rule is where the word, the word, where our word regla comes from, regular. And then, Regular means that it follows, follows a rule. Irregular, it doesn't follow a rule, okay? What's the meaning it doesn't follow a rule? Okay, uh, that it doesn't respect the rule, then it's um, unpredictable what the form is. It's unpredictable, okay? Okie dokie, my dear. So let's move on. Teacher. Tell me, my friend. This is, this is como cosmopolitan. ¿Qué quiere decir? No entiendo. Okay. Cosmos means 
the universe, you know, right? Cosmos. Polit is people. So a cosmopolitan city is a city that has citizen, citizens from different countries, right? So one of the most cosmopolitan cities in the world is New York because New York has people from Japan, from Korea, from Israel, from Cuba, from El Salvador, from Mexico, from Argentina, you need they are there. Cosmopolitan. Okay. okay, thanks. You're welcome, my friend, no problem. Okay, so let's go to the main place here. Okay, okie dokie. So this, the examples that they give us are, Jack is the fastest server. Okay. The fastest server is Apache 404. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> We're talking about server, the computers. The fastest server is Apache 404. That's an another, it's a, how can I say? Silicon. Silicon Valley joke, okay? So that was the saddest moment in the shift. Saddest moment in the shift. The busiest hour is during lunch. The most interesting customers come to our restaurant. The most interesting, it could be, it could be positive, it could be negative, okay? So, meaning interesting. All right, the best and the worst. Kitchen managers have the best schedules. I usually receive the worst tips. Even the best restaurants have accidents. The worst restaurants may have good chefs. The problem is not the chef, it's the service, okay? The best restaurant in town is very expensive, okay? So this would be the examples. Do you have questions about this? Questions? Guadalupe, Cari, Marvin, Nelson, Omar? Yes. Don Omar, Don. Don Omar, no, Don Omar, no, is Don Ignacio. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Questions? No questions. Sadet, the Sadet is a new vocabulary for me. Saddest, okay. Sad. sad. Like, you are sad, okay. It's demented. Yeah. Well, okay, in okay, okay. it's lo ma, el momento más triste. Más triste. Super. Más triste. Ah, okay. Okay. Yeah, más triste. O sea, que estos four adverbs. Talk about el más bonito, el más feo, el más gordo, el más flaco. Para exagerar. Not really, not really. Para decir la verdad. Ok, ok, ok. I will tell you like this. Um... What's the biggest country in the world? In Mexico City. Mexico City. No, in the world? Russia. 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 Uh -huh. Yes. Russia, okay, is the biggest country in the world. And uh, what's the smallest, smallest country in the world? A small, a small country. Smallest country. Vaticano. The Vatican. Mm -hmm. Batman lives there and uh, yes, and the Vatican. <laughs> Just keep. so in the Vatican. Vatican, but the, the Batimobile. No. Yes. <laughs> Batman. <laughs> but and the Joker. And the Joker. <laughs> and the Joker. <laughs> oh, come on. Okay. Um one exercise to finish this part, and then we get to the other. Okay. Let's see. 
how did you complete number one? Because this was homework. <laughs> this was homework. How did you complete it? This is the what? The most highest. This is the highest. Uh -huh. The sorry, sorry. Don't worry. It's short. The highest mountain in Australia or Australia. That's the one syllable. Porter. Okay, this is the poorest, the poorest country in the world. Three, they are the what? The most beautiful. The most beautiful. Okay. Teacher, don't put that because it's already there. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> okay, so right there. Thank you for telling me, says. Thank you for telling me. It's just like that. Okay. Most. The beautiful. Most. Did you have to see the most beautiful girl in the world? Tell her, I'm sorry. Right? You remember the song? Tell her I need my baby. Oh, won't you tell her that I love her? It's a song, right? No, teacher, I don't know that song. I don't know Binton. Okay, so George is the slowest. The slower. Slowest. Slower. Exactly. And the N is the youngest. The youngest. In the that's the most difficult. That's the most difficult exercise I've ever done. This is the uh -huh, by by why, right? By by why? I yes. E Yes, restaurants I know. Who has the fastest fast car? No, my car is an evolution, uh, Mitsubishi evolution, but it's not the fastest, particularly with me as a driver. <laughs> okay, I drive very slowly. I try to. Yeah, okay, I try to even modify it or not. I almost done. <laughs> okay, your view is the what? Softest. 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 Okay, look. The room at the back is the? Quiet. Quietest. Quietest. The quietest. Is the quietest, okay, the quietest. This is the? Tallest. 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 Tallest mountain in our country. Okay, Betsy is the? Most Malia girl that I know. The meanest girl. Meanest. Malia, right, so? Meanest. Girl, okay. Betsy is the meanest girl. Okay, so that was the idea. Now let's get to the the last one related to uh, this. Underline the, cor the correct word or phrase. Number one. What's number one? Volunteer. The most important. Mm -hmm. The most important. Okay. Thing is. So we say the most important thing is to find a substitute for sick employees. Okay. The most important. Number two. What do you have for number two? Don't use the best schedule. The best 
Bets schedule don't as a reward. Uh -huh. Don't use the best schedules as a reward. As a reward. Teacher, as what's a reward? What's a reward? Yes. A premio. <laughs> a reward. Don't use the best schedules as a reward. Oh, you are a good employee. So I will give you the best schedule. Because the thing is that you need the best schedules in, no, you need the best employees in the most difficult schedules, right? You cannot, three, J is what? Fastest waitress or the, fa the fastest wait? Is the fastest. The fastest. The fastest. Obligatory to use the, the fastest way. Okay. Okay. Dokie. What about number four? What do we have in number four? Delivery orders are the most popular. Popular. Are the most popular right now. Delivery orders are the most popular right now. Number five. What do we have in number five? This restaurant, what? The chair has to be double P, double T. It is. I had the previous, but it's double T, right? The uh, restaurant has maybe the I, most I made, mistake, I made a mistake copying. Okay. Mm -hmm. The previous. Teacher, you write previous with one T? No, with two T's. The thing is that uh, I was hungry and I ate a letter, okay? Not to be hungry. I'm going to correct it in more. Kitchen manager works what? Longest or the longest? Longest. The longest shift. Okay. Very good. Okay, I'm going to correct the other one. We say the prettiest, the prettiest, double T. Okay. Okay, very ducky. Questions? No questions. Okay. Let's see. At the end, we have something that. Uh, okay. Yesterday, we did this one. I left it there, but okay. Uh, we need to discuss this to finish because tomorrow you will not see this one. Okay. Um, let's see, and then we're going to go to the other part. Okay. Which of these strategies do you and your partner consider effective to avoid overstaffing and understaffing? Okay, let's read them. Provide a schedule to your employees quickly. Find a method to communicate quickly with employees. Take working preferences into account. Schedule, ha okay, schedule having your employees' strength in mind. Allow for changes in the schedule. Prevent abs absenteeism using phone reminders. Okay. Let's see, the last one, obviously, right? The last one is obvious. What other? Okay, this one, absolutely no. You don't have to consider workers' preferences. I prefer to, to have a Monday off. Uh -uh. Nope, things don't work like that at work. Those no things don't work. Okay, what else? Provide a schedule to your employees quickly. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. With anticipation. Anticipation is an important word. Okay, here I have a boss. Um, Elena, right? Elena is my boss. She tells me about my assignment at least one week before. If possible, two weeks before. She tells me, prepare, prepare. Okay. So it's provide the schedule to your employees quickly. Find a method to communicate quickly with employees. Yes, right. You have to commun communicate quickly with them. So he says another one. Okay, schedule having your employees strength in mind. I mean, think about ah, fulanito is good for this and, fulan and menganito is good for this and this for this. Yes, right. Okay, to get better productivity, okay. And what about the last one? Allow for changes in the schedule. Means people that are not happy with the schedule come to you and say, uh, can you change my schedule? And you say, okay. Do you think that that works? <laughs> no, no. No way. No, no way. No way, Jose, no, that doesn't work. So this one is a no, no, no happy. Well, too bad. too bad. Okay, so we finish with the things that we had to do, but we haven't finished. Okay, my dear students, probably you will see this tomorrow. You will see this again. Tomorrow, probably a little more decorated, a little better structure, less intubulating, et cetera. Probably, but you will see it tomorrow. Can you say, teacher, what is that? Perfect models. What's a topic that you saw at the beginning of the class? Perfect models. Teacher, but nothing of the things that we did was about perfect models. No, but this is, okay. So we have could have, should have, and would have. Teacher, and what is that? How do you eat? Okay, you will see. For example, we have, let me go to my board. Maybe we will not do the exercises, but I will, I will try to. I will try to to do them, okay? Let's begin with should have. Should have and the verb in the past participle. What is that? Okay, I will tell you. Okay, this one is debería haber it. Okay. I'm going to put it to give you an example. She should have she should have eaten breakfast. Okay. She should have she should have eaten breakfast. I'm going to make this bigger, a little exaggeratedly bigger. Why? Because I want to give you one clue. Always after a modal auxiliary, this is going to be haber, comido. Okay, so over here you say, okay, I'm going to make this one smaller, but you say, Okay, debería, right? So you say debería haber comido 
past participles finish in ido, edo, ado, right? Dormido, comido, sentido, etc. So, debería haber comido is she should have eaten breakfast. Okay. What do you understand from she should have eaten breakfast? Did she eat breakfast? No. No, she didn't eat breakfast. She should have eaten breakfast, but she didn't eat breakfast. Right? Debería haber comido. Or some people say debió haber comido. Debería or debió haber comido breakfast. Okay. Same like here. Let's put debió just in case. If someone prefers it. Somebody told me that the view doesn't exist in English, but in any language. <laughs> okay. Yo, somebody told me, hey, what is that? that? Doesn't exist. Okay. Maybe. But we say the view haber comido. We say it in, in Latin America, we use the view haber comido. It doesn't exist. The correct form is debería haber, but okay. We use it, no problem. Even we use ha de haber visto. Correct form, debió haber visto, or debería haber visto, debió yeah. haber visto. But we use, ha de haber visto. Okay, it's okay. Sure. Yeah, but this is should have eaten breakfast. Okay, now let's have the other one. We're going to have the pronunciation in a moment. Okay, the other one. Oh, this, the pronunciation is, should have. Shura. 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 Eaten. Shura. Eaten. Russian. Parushkin. Jagabariu Parushkin. Ojan Harasho. But no, it's not Russian. Okay? It's not Russian. Okay? It's English, but you pronounce it Shura. And then you have the other idea. Could have and the verb in the past participle. The pronunciation is could have. Up is should have. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. And this is could have. Could have. Could have. Please remember, in this, you don't pronounce the L. You don't say could have. No. Could have. Should have. Should have, okay. So we should say. Should have is, teacher, should have is como negativo. No. Es debería. Afirma. Shouldn't have is negative. Shouldn't have. But we're going Shouldn't to say negative later. Let's begin with the affirmative so that you don't get in chivo later, okay? <laughs> teacher, chivo later? Yeah. Chivo later. <laughs> No, teacher, tengo una duda. Tell me, my friend. Es que ahorita que está tocando ese tema, Michael Jackson una canción dice He shouldn't let it be no. Y en la traducción dice él no lo permitiría. Porque dice Should Martin Luther was living She shouldn't let it be no. Ajá. He shouldn't let it be. Sería, no ok, let it be no lo permitiría ser, no permitiría que fuera o que sucediese. Uh -huh. Es correcto, que fuera, así lo traduce. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Should mm -hmm. have been, yes. Well, it be. Present. Mm -hmm. Should have yeah. been. Should have is not yeah. Yeah. Ok, check over here. He... Curado. He could have asked for help. He could have, he could have asked for help. He could have asked for help. Yeah. Okay. Check over here. I'm going to put here, podría, no de podrir. 
No podría de podrir, va podría de poder. Sí. Ok. So, podría, y qué dijimos que era have? What did we say it was? A ver, right? A ver. A ver. And as for, as for is what? Pedir, right? Pedir. What we say, pedido. Podría haber pedido ayuda. He could have asked for help. Okay. What do you understand? Okay. Yes, yes. Did he ask for help? Pidió ayuda? Did he, did no, he ask for help? No, no. no. Because why? In, in, in the beach. <laughs> he died in the ocean. Gloop, gloop, gloop. He could have asked for help. Okay. Yes. The famous one finger, two fingers, and right? Okay, so, but no, he could have, could have, podría haber pedido, podría haber pedido, pero no lo hizo. He could have. Sí, sí. Aguena, ¿qué es? Ahí hay como una contracción, ¿verdad? Es, he could have has for help. El have no se pronuncia, ¿verdad? No existe tal cosa como has. Ok, ¿cuál es el que está a la par del, del sujeto? Could. Could. Y a la S. Could. ¿Y por qué no la lleva? Modal auxiliary. Los modal auxiliaries no se conjugan. Modal auxiliaries have no conjugation. So you say he could. No, he could. You never say to could or couldn't. Okay, or coulds, no. Model auxiliaries don't change. Another reason, okay. ¿qué forma uh, usamos después del auxiliar? ¿Qué forma? Simple, forma simple, have. Have. ¿Cuál el, this is what we call verb in the simple form. Have. Dictionary form, root form, base form, okay? So, could have asked for help. He could have asked for help. He didn't do it. Too bad, okay? He didn't do it. Another example. No, the other word. Sorry, no capital because it will never be capital unless it's a question. So, you say would have and the verb in the past participle. We're going to study only those three. Those are the ones that appear in the manual. Only those three. So, no voy a ser tacaño, but that's, that's what we have to study. Okay? Let me see. How do you pronounce it? Would have. Would have. Would have. Imagine you have someone that you love in front of you and you throw blowing a kiss. Would have. Would have. Right? Would have. So you say would have. Would have seen. Would have. Would have. Okay. Let's make it bigger, even bigger. All right, okie dokie. Now let's see, what do we say? If this is debería, this is podría, which do you think this could be? None of them. <laughs> Puedo haberlo ayudado. Este se combina en estas dos palabras. Y se dice, habría. Mm. Habría. No hubiera. No es de abrir. Subjuntivo. Este es potencial. Yeah. Un potencial, es un resultativo. So, you say, habría. Ok, Mickey. Habría. Ok. 
no debería de abrir, eso es sin H, right? Habría de abrir, es sin H. Este habría de haber. ¿Ok? Nosotros hablamos mal. Yes. Si tuviera, comprara. Uh -uh. Si tuviera o tuviese, compraría. Compraría. Ese es el resultado. Uh -huh. okay. yeah. Si tuviera o tuviese, compraría. Si fuera yeah. o fuese, haría. No quisiera. ¿Ok? <risa> sí, habla, sí hablamos mal, Tiche. Mal. Bueno. <risa> Español. Uh -huh. Porque una mujer le dice a la otra, mira, ¿y qué tenería la María? Porque estaba embarazada. ¿Qué tenería? El español es el más difícil para hablar. Exacto. Indiscutiblemente. Nosotros hablamos por inercia porque hemos venido escuchando los anteriores. Y le, y le responde ella, no, la, la palabra tenería es maldecida, le dice. Debes de, de decirlo, ¿qué tubería? <risa> Salió peor. Más complicado. Trabajaba. No, volvamos al inglés. She worked for Al. <risa> she was thinking about tuberías. <risa> All right, my friend. Check over here. Mm. He would have helped you. He would have helped you. Okay. This... You is you put it here. Te habría ayudado. Él te habría ayudado. Te habría ayudado. He would have helped you. He would have helped you. He would have helped you. Okay. So should have, could have, would have, would have. should have, could have, would have. Would have, could have, would have. Okay. Another one, Mickey, just for the sake, say like this. Uh, Jack lost his wallet. Jack lost his wallet. Mm -hmm. Well, too bad, no? He lost his wallet. Uh, and what did he do? He didn't eat lunch. He didn't eat lunch. Why not? He didn't have money. He lost his wallet. Teacher yes. with the wallet, the cartera, right? The wallet. Yes. He lost his wallet with the money, documents, and everything. He didn't eat lunch. What, do you, what do you think he should have done? He should have. Okay. You say, well, there are options. Could have talks about options. I'm going to put them here. Options. Options. That didn't take, that he didn't take. Here we talk about best option. The best option. And over here is My, my, my own opinion, right? How my own, my opinion? Lo que yo habría hecho. This is lo que podría haber hecho, lo que debería haber hecho y lo que yo habría hecho. Okay? Should have, could have, would have. So then you say, Jack lost his wallet. What things? could he have done? He could have uh, 
ask teacher ED, he could have asked a friend. Friends. To lend him money. Right? Mm. Yeah. He asked a friend to lend him money. No pay, Jack. <laughs> okay. He should have done that. My opinion, say he should have done that. Should have done that. Debería haber hecho eso. He should have done that. Why? Well, I would have done that. I would have done that. I would have done that. Yo lo habría hecho. I would have done that. I would have done that. Jack lost his wallet. He didn't eat lunch. He could have asked a friend to lend him money. He should have done that. I would have done that. Okay. So, this is, consider this as an introduction because we have this, but could have past participle means that something was possible in the past or you had the ability to do something in the past, but you didn't do it. Negative couldn't have, couldn't have. Okay. And then we have all this. I will send it to you. But a lot of, conf <laughs> a lot of, uh, well, it's a little difficult to say. To yes, test. the next class is a very, very difficult. So we're going to see what we're going to do. Okay, let's see. Now I can provide effective strategies to avoid overstaffing and understaffing independently with occasional help, only with help. What do mm. you mean? Only with help. Only with help. Okay. Ooh, ugly. I don't like this, Mark. Yes. Let's change the color. Color allow me. It doesn't allow me. I can Shimon. The color of the race, right? So okay. Only with help. So we leave it there. Okay, my friends, I'm going to call roll. Please do your homework. Try to do everything that you haven't done. Complete everything. Okay. The, the end of the course, we say the end is near. El fin se acerca. <laughs> so the end, yeah. is near. <laughs> the end is near. The end of the course is not near. right. It's next Friday. So please advance so that you get the 80%, okay? Advance, okay? Work, 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 work. Can you do it? Can you do it? Yes, yes you can. Tomorrow I'm going to explain if we're going to do these exercises Perfect. in a better way, okay? Could have, should have, would have. I will explain and we will work. So I hope it's easier. I hope. Okay. Don't promise. Okay, let's see who stays with me tonight. It's not obligatory, but it would be nice, okay, if you could stay. Oh, Mindy. I didn't open it, okay. Let me see. 
Today is the 27th, am I right? The 27th. Today, Don Ricardo Alexis Fuentes stays. Don Ricardo stays tonight. Okay. Excellent, let's see. Now let's go to the attendance. Angel Carranza de Guzman. Present teacher. Excellent. Brian Odir Perez Saraujo. Present teacher. Excellent. Carlos Alberto Bautista. Present teacher. Nice. Ni Anthony Siguenza. Danis Adalberto Fuentes. Present. Excellent. Dolores Saraí Molina. Present teacher. Excellent. Eduardo Ernesto Hernández Molina. Present. Nice. Eunice Ibrahim Chavez, well, she doesn't come anymore. Eh, Guadalupe del Carmen López. Present teacher. Excellent. Jacqueline Melisa Delgadillo. Present teacher. Excellent. José Ignacio Franco Medina. Present teacher. Excellent. José Norberto Velázquez López. Present teacher. Excellent. Karina Elizabeth Villeda. Present teacher. Excellent. Marvin Alexander Bonilla. Present teacher, I'm here. Hi. Miriam Claribel Jacobo. Hello, teacher. I am present. No, that is Jacqueline Melissa Delgadillo. Mir present teacher. Miriam Claribel Jacobo. I am here, teacher. Good, show me. Good evening. Good evening. Can you show me? No, Miki. I hear your voice, but I cannot see you. Okay, I will, I will believe that you are here. Okay, no problem. You are present. Okay, Moises Eduardo Rivas. Present teacher. Excellent. Nelson Ivan Hernandez. Present teacher. Okay, Pedrina Ileana Gomez. Present teacher. Excellent. René Osvaldo Bonilla. I am here, I am here. Hey, hey. hey. Excellent. <laughs> Military. Puente. Yeah. Okay. And then, okay, nobody here. All of these were absent today. Okay. So my dear ones, I should say thank you very much for joining me tonight. Okay. Thank you very much for joining me tonight. God bless you all. Take care of yourself. Uh, I will be seeing you tomorrow. Okay. Be good. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 See you bye, tomorrow. Bye. 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 See you. See you tomorrow. Yeah. See you tomorrow. Okay. Let me see. Good night, teacher. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Good night, my friend. Take care. See you tomorrow. Bye. Okay, Don Ricardo Fuentes Rodriguez. Yes. You have a very nice last name, Rodriguez, huh? Yes. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. Blue. Blue. Sorry. Blue. Everything is nice. Everything is blue. So, uh, um, what questions do you have? How can I help you? Uh, the question. Um, eh, Any top? Eh, if yes. you have any specific. Eh, yes, lo, eh, lo único que, bueno, es en español porque no mucho, no mucho me recuerdo. Eh, lo que a mí me está como costando es como, como entender, o sea, los acentos. 
uh -huh. eh, la mayoría de partes de la clase, pues, me bien, ¿verdad? Lo único es que hay momentos que me pierdo, como cuando estaba como explicando, entonces me quedo, es que quiero, ¿qué quiso decir? Entonces me tengo que buscar la palabra y ya como que lo uniendo, ¿verdad? Entonces, aunque trato la manera de no hacerlo, porque es mala costumbre que puedo adquirir, entonces eso es lo único que, que, me, que me cuesta. Eh, ¿Podría ser mala costumbre? ¿En qué forma podría ser mala costumbre? Si... No, o sea, acostumbrar para, digamos, a buscarla. Ajá, digamos que usted encuentra una palabra que usted no sabía y rápido la buscó y entendió lo, lo que significaba y siguió trabajando. Y esa palabra yes. se le quedó. You, stay, you keep the word. And you ajá, así como, and así you como use... eh, eh, calendario que se me, me confundí o sea la palabra como van a decir entonces Start. me quedé con eso entonces lo seguí repitiendo y sure ajá ok yo ya, ya so, se me quedó entonces así ok no but that is the idea something that you don't understand you look it up in the dictionary ok you yes. try to understand it you understand it just little by little and you work on it and at the end everything is perfect All you have to do is what? Practice. And there is, there is something that you don't understand because there is a word that you don't understand. Look it up. Look it up. And if that helps you, there is no problem. Okay. As long as you are not looking up word by word, if you are looking up every word, oh, yeah, then we have a problem. But if you just look up a key word for, let's say, the sentence for you to understand everything, there is no problem, okay? I think okay. There is no, no, it is not a bad habit. <laughs> In that case, it's, okay. it's something good. It's something good if you can do that. If you have access to a good dictionary or like um, I told you the other day, okay? I'm, let me show you. Let me see. Let me show you something. Perhaps it help, this helps you. Uh, this is no secret. You already know it, but you already know it. But anyhow, I'm going to show it, show it to you. For example, you say, you look it up. Uh, there is a word that you don't know. Say calendar. Calendar, you don't know. And then you write it. No calendar, but calendar, and then you look it up. But what do you write? They put here it's Spanish. Okay, you put meaning. After the word, you put meaning. And then they give you the meaning. Do they give you only the meaning? No. Click next to it. Okay. You have okay. the pronunciation. So you have the pronunciation, you have. Oh, okay. So if there is a word that you don't know, quickly you write calendar. But imagine that you don't, you don't need the, the meaning, you need the pronunciation. You write the word, for example, schedule. Schedule. Mm. You say, teacher, how to pronounce that? You write schedule and you write pronunciation. Okay, and they give you only the pronunciation. You click here. Oh, okay. And you say schedule. Schedule. Okay. okay. Uh, I don't know if I'm sharing sound. Can you hear? Can you hear this? Or you cannot hear? Yes. Yes. Okay. So yes. Yes, sure. schedule. All right. So you have the even you have schedule. the schedule. Schedule. Mm -hmm. Schedule. For example, other words like. Okay. Siento, for, siento que es más easy, así. Uh huh. If you have yes. like jewelry, the purpose of jewelry, jewelry. jewelry. 
jewelry, 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 okay, jewelry, jewelry store. Sí, porque eh, cambia bastante la forma de escribirse, la forma de pronunciarse. Jury. 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 Mm -hmm. Ok. British pronounce it in a little different way, but no problem. We're not going to get into that right now. But you get the idea. How, I mean... Okay. Eh, this is one... La pronunciation. One way to check the vocabulary, to check the pronunciation, okay? And of course, yes. I think that that helps, helps a lot, okay? Yes. Uh, is there any other question that you may have? That's it. Okay. Yes. So, solo eso que, que, que me cuesta un, un poquito, pero eh, poco a poco he ido un poquito más amplio el vocabulario y he, he adaptado un poquito el, 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 el oído. Ok. Watch videos yes. on YouTube. Watch videos on YouTube. If you like songs, yes. look for songs with lyrics. Yes. Ok. You listen to the song. Sí, también eso está bien. You can sing. And when you're singing, you're pronouncing. And so you're listening, you're singing. So you're pronouncing. Ah, okay. That improves your pronunciation. It's a very good thing to do. Ah, okay. So you can do that. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Okay, so. Think about it. Read texts. Maybe if you change your, what? Your Facebook to English, for example. Or, or, your, or you change your Twitter to English and you check the messages okay. you receive in English. Maybe you don't answer them in English. Okay. You will see okay. how many messages you get in English. And you, little by little, you will be, uh, let's say, getting to understand things better. Okay. So I would do that. Okay. Okay, so thank you very much for staying, Don Ricardo. I will not take any more of your time. Sleep well. Okay. I'll be seeing you tomorrow, right? Okay. Okay, teacher. Good night. Thank you, friend. I'll be seeing you then. Okay. Bye bye. Thank you.